Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly love and general situationship tarot reading session for you Capricorn. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good, okay? This reading for today, it is for the Capricorn friends out there. What can I get for Capricorn, please? What is the love message and general situationship message for you, okay? And um, this is for the Capricorn friends out there. Capricorn, thank you so much for coming back. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here. Um, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. This is for you, Capricorn. And of course, before I start, I would like to thank you for supporting my channel. I would like to greet you a Merry Christmas and advance Happy New Year. And I really hope that my content has served its purpose to you that somehow somewhere out there in my con in my content it has helped you and inspire you at the same time because you inspire me your support your energy your likes your subscribe everything that you do in my channel thank you so i really hope that this content serve its purpose to you and yeah i would like to keep you and be with me in my journey so please do click the subscribe button and the bell, okay? So in today's reading, um, Capricorn, we'll look into your focus, your situation. We'll pick up the intuitive about the person, the situation, your, your offer, whatever is coming towards you. We'll look at the block and then we'll look at the predictive outcome and advice. And depending on the message for today, I will let you know if there's a need to extend the reading. I am not in my usual studio i'm somewhere out there in a happy place <laughs> the studio is being um renovated upstairs and downstairs so i am here okay let's start your reading capricorn um you've got the six of pentacles in reverse you've got the seven of pentacles in upright position and you've got the four of wands mm -hmm. um so there was something in the past or there was a situation or a specific focus it could be a person a specific focus you know uh, that you thought you lost them no i feel like it could be i'm hearing the word banker or letter b but no you did not lost this person or opportunity okay i feel like it if it if this is a male it's younger than you um, if this is a female, it's same age, you know, if this is love romantic, this is for some of you long distance, for some of you, someone local, like at least like a four hours drive for some of you. Um, in general, what's coming strong in the reading for you Capricorn is there is someone who you thought will never invest. They are and will come back. I'm seeing January 4, January 7, a specific contact, a special message, yeah? There's a special message. There is a special message, and I'm seeing 3 minutes 33, 333, okay? So when you see 333, it means that this power number, this manifestation number is attached to this reading, okay? So if you feel like you're manifesting to this reading and you want to claim it, you want this to happen. So whenever you see a 333, it means that the vibrational energy about this manifestation, it's happening. So attach that energy, okay? Because I saw 333, 333, 3 minutes, 33 seconds. So there was an offer. This is a big offer. Um, it got you really excited. Seven of Pentacles. Because, but something happened. It got interested. It got, it got interrupted, you know? And in the first week of January 2022, January 4, 5, 6, 7. January 4, 5, 6, 7. There is this special message that would come through. It's a feeling like, wow, just now? Like, it's a feeling of wow it, it it's is this happening kind of thing you know because you're kind of be blown away by the thought you know look at that page of cups like you thought it will never happen you thought that this person or situation or you have like this energy it made you so 
in love with them like it could be a business it could be career think about what happened in the month of july august september october you know up until november think about that for some of you i want you to backtrack what happened feb and then july august september october november think about those months you've got a specific focus or a person a situation an offer now you thought it is gone no it is going to reconnect with you first week of 2022 you know those first two weeks you've got a page of cups the seven of pentacles this is a very cute message if it's a love message it's very cute it's very flirty it i feel like this is my i miss you card the page of cups yeah for some of you it's not it's a very sweet message from a family or from a friend it's sweet it's cute and it's wanting to really reinvest you know wanting to continue whatever you know for some of you, eight of wands in reverse, um, before, like it's a preliminary, eight of wands, ace of cups, like the energy is that, okay, hi or hello, but there is a special message coming through. They're very, very polite, whoever this person is or situation or focus you've got, you know, um, this energy, this person, the situation, they're very polite. They will not just knock on the door and say, hello, you know, as if, you know, it's, it's not. It is going to be polite. It's going to be re respectful. Eight of Wands, Ace of Cups. They will ask you, is it okay that I'm still calling you? Is it okay that I call you? Is it okay to connect with you? They're very, very polite. They wouldn't just jump and say, hi, hello, I love you, I miss you. You know, that, like... It's not a very intimidating energy. It is very respectful. It is very polite. It is really respecting that we did not have, I don't know, some good, like maybe there was a part of you and this person or offer a situation that didn't go along well in the past. So they're very mindful of that. They're very respectful of the boundary. They won't just bark and be hello or hi you know as if nothing happens they're very considerate on their first approach uh if this is you know career or business they're very respectful is it okay to give you a call is it okay to do this it is is it you know lo lots of boundaries and respect you know eight of wands ace of cups they, they don't want to just offer the ace like hey i love you hey do you want to connect with me no it's very respectful it's very this person's situation offer knows their boundary okay so they're not just coming back to you to mess you around or to confuse you they've got an agenda you've got a seven of swords in here look at that you know seven of swords in reverse they're not coming to mess around they're not coming to confuse you they're not coming to create more drama or issue they would like to simplify things with you and pick up where you left off and pick up where you left off and the way they want to pick up where you left off you know like that because the tower card is in reverse they don't like to start all over again if you're dating this person then they would ask your permission that can i date you can i do business with you can we do it together again you know they believe in return and second chances look at that five of pentacles in reverse they believe in second chances they believe that they can be forgiven and they believe in all honestly honestly this person believes in one thing that you guys have a chance that you guys have shared something meaningful mutual and worth reinvesting against seven of pentacles you know five of pentacles they believe that if they return to you and they will be very honest and sincere tower card in reverse that you won't just give up because this is nothing has changed you know the way they feel about you the way they think about you it, it's never never change well <laughs> they're the one who's the you know in this reading they're at fault you know so lots of sorry they're very persuasive but don't know their boundary they're not just gonna say i'm sorry it will really be very meaningful on how they will say that you will fool sorry you will feel how sorry they are and how sincere they are 
with their approach. So much potential for you and this person or offer and situation. They believe in that. They're very, very optimistic. They see you as a potential person that they want to marry. They see you, Seven of Pentacles, long term. You're worth every um, time, energy, love, feelings, in terms of redoing it again like it, it's worth taking this action it, it's worth doing this for you you are a big deal with this person or this situation is like this is a big deal so i'm gonna take it a little bit slow with my capricorn just for you to feel how serious i am yeah. But they don't like to start all over again. They would like to pick up where you left off. So if if this is a business, if this is a offer, if you've gone through the second interview or the third interview, they won't go back to the first, to the base. No. Let's pick up where we left off. It's worth investing. And they still, they've never changed their heart, their feelings towards it. Never. No. It's, it's, it, they haven't really moved on. They probably switch off. They, they probably switch or put a lid into that energy that's shared to you but it's never gone it's never deleted no it's just placed somewhere out there you know they kept it safe the love the feelings the attention the offer for you so that one day they can reopen it pretty much on those dates reopen it and reoffer it to you with full of optimistic and they believe on second chances you know five of pentacles they believe they are a believer of second chances. They're really hoping that you would... There's a there's a feeling that you might reject them. Eight of Wands, Ace of Cups. But they have to try. And they feel like the first two weeks of 2022, it's the best part where they should approach you. Yes. This is your first customer. <laughs> it's intense. It's intense, but it is solid. Yeah. I honestly feel like I could trust this person something has changed or this offer so this is your reading thank you so much for tuning in thanks for being here it's a pleasure doing the reading to you guys i will see you soon again you have a great christmas we'll catch up in the new year and um yeah don't forget to click the bell and subscribe bye bye